Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video we're gonna talk about the seven rules of makeup that every single woman over 30 should know about. There are tips and tricks that I've learned as a makeup artist but also as a woman who loves to do makeup on herself and I wanted to share with you there are things that you probably know, things that probably you were aware of but never really like thought about it too much. And I'm gonna talk about them in this video. Before we get into it, please make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, click on that ring bell button. Now let's get into the seven rules of makeup. Number one, always, and I mean always, put the skin first. And in here, I don't mean foundation, concealer, Makeup is important, but if you don't have a good base for makeup, nothing is gonna look good. I've struggled with acne for most of my life, and it took me a very, very long time, and it was a very expensive process in order to find the routine that actually is good for my skin. Routine is what keeps my skin nice and healthy. Make sure you have a routine for your skin. Make sure that you follow that religiously morning and night. Number two, not to prime is a crime. Unless you are a singer and you're going to perform for two hours in front of an audience and you're gonna dance and you know you're gonna sweat, that's when maybe you want to skip your moisturizer. Using makeup for your everyday activities then I absolutely suggest you to prime. And by prime, I do not mean the product that says primer on it. I mean using any kind of moisturizer, skincare, something that really makes that foundation or whatever you're gonna put on top stick to your skin. You cannot apply foundation after you've just washed your face and like, that's it just because on your foundation says that it's moisturizing and it has SPF on it. No, you have to apply moisturizer. That's the minimal thing that you have to do before you apply your foundation. A good tip is to apply the same formula of moisturizer as your foundation. And I'll explain. If the first ingredient in your moisturizer is water, Make sure that your foundation has the same. This way, they are going to make a great pair. Number three, buy less but better. I've, I have these courses with women in Paris and all over the world, really, and I check their makeup bag. I go to their place and I, I see where they're doing their makeup and they show me their collection of makeup. Some, of, some women have like a tiny little pouch with a few products and some women have like a full bathroom full of products everywhere. It's like I'm visiting an influencer. And when I'm asking her, what is she using? She's like, oh, this one, I have never used this one. This one, I've never, I don't know how to use this. We buy so much. Be sure that you actually need that product. That's for your skin type. That's for your skin tone. Like how many times are you gonna wear that product? When you get a product, let's just say you get a purple lipstick. You saw someone wearing it and you're like, oh my God, I loved how it looked on her. I might look good, although all my collection is with nude lipsticks. I'm gonna get that purple lipstick. You pay $25 on it and you get to wear it once. That means that you paid $25 for one wear. When you get a product that is $25, but you get to use it 25 times, that means it costs you one dollar per use. Now, you see where I'm getting here? Like, do you understand? Even if a product is a little bit more expensive, but you're gonna end up using it more because you know that's what you need and that's what looks good on you, it's going to somehow end up cheaper than a product that you probably spend less, but you only use it once. Number four, you have to invest in good quality brushes. And by good quality brushes, I don't mean necessarily expensive brushes. I bet that a lot of women that are watching me have quite a lot of brushes, 10, 15 brushes, and probably eight of them, they're like big, right? You, you don't need a lot of big brushes. Actually, 
actually you don't need big brushes at all unless it's like for applying something on your chest or on your shoulders our faces are not like this we don't need big brushes you want more focused brushes even for powder you don't want to apply a ton of powder all over your face you want to apply powder target it an average good amount of brushes would be eight brushes for a person who actually does makeup every day and i can tell you this good quality brushes can change your makeup game radically number five every woman should own a good red lipstick what do i mean by a good red lipstick i've got some clients that tell me oh red i don't look good with red no red is not my color i, I would never wear a red lipstick until we figure out the perfect red for her and that's when she's like oh I actually do look good with red there is an aha moment when you find that right shade of red lipstick and when you put it on you're like wow it completely changes the way I look red gives you confidence red is power red is sexy red is dominant there's no way you're not gonna look good with red you are red you are blood you're gonna look good with red just find the right shade and also the right texture six you should know this by now if not earlier don't follow any makeup trends just follow your instincts it's super trendy the glass skin I love it in pictures. I love it on models. Does it look good on me? No. Am I gonna wear it? No. Am I gonna do videos with it? Yes, because this is my job. But it's not for me and I know it and it's okay. It's a trend that I love to admire. It's beautiful. It, it's so catchy for the eye. That shine is like mesmerizing. It, do, it does not represent me. It doesn't look good on me. That is one trend that came in my mind like right away. What are the trends that you you love but you just don't like it for yourself? I'm curious, so put it in the comments. And my seventh rule is less is more. Sounds so cliche, but actually after a certain age, and I'm still very young, like don't get me wrong, it's not like I consider myself some, some old lady. Um, it's just that I'm not as young as you as I used to be less product on my face right now looks so much better whenever I try to apply a little bit more just because I I feel like I need to cover more when I get in the sunlight when I get in the daylight I feel a little bit ridiculous I gotta be honest I feel like who am I kidding you can totally see that I'm wearing a lot of makeup so I would rather apply less, embrace my imperfections, embrace my big pores, <laughs> and just accept things the way they are. I mean, for me, that baking situation with the powder being left under the eye and then remove the excess later, that does not work for me. I feel like I don't need that much. I kind of I kinda embraced who I am and, and how I look like. And I hope you did too. And if you haven't, you will. Just like anything else, it just takes a lot of work and trust and gratitude. It's the most important thing. Be grateful for everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Click on that ring bell button. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to put your rules into the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!